Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to look at Star Trek Attack Wing. Now, um, a few things worth noting right off the bat. Um, I'm still in the midst of reviewing this game, uh, and we haven't played it before. So this will sort of give you the inside scoop on our review process and sort of show you um, our very first play session. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. With that said, it's not going to be perfect, uh, so we're going to make mistakes. Um, other things to note, the map that you see here did not come with the starter kit or starter set. Um, I purchased this for my Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Uh, speaking of which, if you uh, like what you see here and you haven't checked out my Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures video series, do so. I have over 20 videos out there uh, showing you the different ships and how the game is played, different things like that. So with that said, let's go ahead, shut the camera off, and I'll quickly show you what factions we picked and what we have set up. Now, as far as our current setup is concerned, I'm sporting the Klingon faction only because Vinny got to the Federation first. Um, I have a Vorcha-class ship, uh, the IKS Mathas. Ah, ass. Ah, Matha. Ma Matha. There we go, Matha. I, I'm, I don't speak Klingon, sorry. Uh, New Dach is my captain. Uh, Con Mel is um, an upgrade card, and the Photon Torpedoes um, is also an upgrade card. He has the USS Enterprise D. Um, he's, that's being captained by William T. Riker. This is a Galaxy-class uh, ship, for those of you that um, aren't too familiar with the Star Trek uh, lore. Uh, we've got Data and Photon Torpedoes as upgrade cards. All right, now just a few disclaimers to get out of the way before I get started, and those of you that have watched my X-Wing miniature series um, will be familiar with these, but for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, you'll probably want to hear it. Um, I don't have a dedicated um, uh, video camera. This is a DSLR camera meant for stills, um, and its video is more secondary, so the color and the lighting and all that aren't going to be perfect, so I apologize there. Um, the lighting, there may be some glare, uh, the way the mat is uh, designed and the way the material that it's made out of, sometimes the light will glare off of it. Uh, so it's not, again, the video quality is not going to be perfect. Other things to note, um, again, this is our first time playing, so we're going to make mistakes. Um, for those of you that are curious about the uh, ships and the upgrade cards and all those abilities, I have a separate video on this uh, series uh, that goes into those in detail. So definitely check out those videos um, if you're curious about what all of those other cards do that I reeled off in the last segment. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll move on to the first phase and the first round of the game. Okay, now with this being only a 40-point game, um, it's going to be really quick. Uh, it's not going to be the hour-long video that you're used to seeing on my X-Wing series. Um, at least I hope not. <laughs> so um, we'll start with the planning phase, and uh, we'll go ahead and pick what maneuvers we want to go, or go ahead and do. Um, and I'm just going to play this out for the benefit uh, of this video. Um, normally I skip this just because it takes some time for us to actually get in range, uh, but I'll go ahead and just play this out uh, properly. So let's see what we got here. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Actually, no, I'll do this, and I know what I'm going to do next turn. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose my maneuver, put it face down next to my ship. Uh, Vinny, you got yours. All right, so now we'll move on to the activation phase, and movement is resolved in order of uh, captain skill. Uh, being lowest to highest. So my captain skill, New Doc, has a skill of five. William T. Riker has a skill of what, six? Yeah. So I move mine first. Uh, so let me go ahead, reveal mine. I have a three forward. It's a white maneuver. And we'll do that. And I don't have the captain tokens inserted into the base. Um, I know what captain I am. I don't need tokens to remind me. Um, although you're supposed to. Uh, so now I get to take a free action. This was a white maneuver, and I'm not uh, quote-unquote stressed or don't have that auxiliary power token. So I can, get take, I can take an action. I'll go ahead and take... Um, what do I got on here? I'll take the cloak action. And what the cloak action does, basically I have to flip all of my shields from enabled to disabled, um, but it gives me four extra defense die um, should I be attacked. And this does carry on from round to round, or from, yeah, from round to round, um, until I decide to remove it, or until I attack, or different things like that. So that will conclude that, and you get to do something with your ship now. You are one straight ahead. All right, where is the one straight template? There it is. 
Got it. Oh, it's right. And maneuver. As I said, we're not going to be in range to really do anything, uh, but we'll play this out because. Uh, um, so what action do you want to take? This one says act data. Action. Plays two. <laughs> like I said, we haven't played this before. Place two, it, this is the equivalent to an evade token. So, so this is evasive maneuvers, um, evade being uh, X-Wing miniatures game. Uh, place two, um, yeah, evasive maneuver tokens beside your ship and reduce your total attack dice by two this round. You cannot perform a uh, evasive maneuver action this round, even as a free action. So basically it's telling you you can do these two, but that's it. You can't do any other action. Uh, so you've got two um, evasive maneuver tokens there. And with that being concluded, we'll move on to the combat phase. No one is, in, is within range of one another, so we're going to skip that. And now we'll move on to the end phase. And this is basically where we clean up any unused tokens. The cloak token stays with the cloaked vessel, but these two evasive maneuvers um, get discarded for now until he decides to use that action in the future. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to the uh, planning phase again, which we already decided what we wanted to do. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the activation phase, and I sometimes use the word movement phase instead of activation phase, so, uh, yeah, deal with it. <laughs> Alright, so the, uh, let's see, the person with the uh, lowest captain skill goes first, that's me. So I get two straight ahead, it's a green maneuver. And am I in range to... No, I'm not. So, let's go ahead then. I will perform... Well, I guess I'll take um, an evade. Just because. And uh, what about you? What do you got? One slight turn this way. Yeah. Okay. That is a green maneuver. Are you are range. in range. Yes. I will do a target lock. Target lock, okay. Do you have a target lock ability on your ship? Yes. Okay. So you get the blue one, I get the red one. Okay. All right, so that will conclude the activation phase, and we'll move on to the combat phase. Okay, so we're on to the combat phase. Um, Vinny gets to shoot first because he has the higher uh, captain skill. And just to show you, we are at range three, closest base to closest base. Um, so what exactly are you going to be doing, though? All right, so that is a secondary weapon, so the range bonuses don't matter. So he's going to spend his target lock to fire photon torpedoes. Now, something interesting about this game um, that's different from X-Wing, um, using a card like photon torpedoes doesn't require you to discard the card completely for the rest of the game. You just simply disable it, and then you can reactivate it for the next uh, phase, or next turn, or, yeah, the next round. So um, you you'll, let me you can flip that card over later, but let me see what it says on there. Let me see. It says this. Okay, so you get to roll five attack dice. This is at range two to three. You may convert one battle station's result into a looks like critical hit result. Um, you may fire this weapon from your forward or rear firing arcs. Okay, so go ahead and roll five attack dice, and let's see what you get. Oy. Okay, so. You've got a lot of go. You got two hits. Let's go ahead and organize these. Two hits, one critical. Your card lets you change one battle stations into a critical. So you have two criticals, two regular hits, and my ship is screwed. Okay, now I have to roll defense die. Um, I am cloaked, uh, so I get to roll four extra defense die. And hopefully, I get some evade. Now I do have um, an evasive maneuver token here that I could spend um, if I need to, which I may end up doing. I've got three evasive maneuvers, one battle stations. I'll go ahead and spend my evasive maneuvers to get four. So that is four hits, four evasive maneuvers. Um, so no damage was done on my vessel for this particular um, attack. So let me discard this evasive maneuvers token. Um, now, I will go ahead and shoot back. I'm at range 3. Unfortunately, I can't use my photon torpedoes because I don't have a target lock. Um, now, I do have to uncloak. I have to flip this cloak token over to the red side to indicate that I'm going to be uh, firing this turn. I'm still considered cloak for the rest of the turn, according to the manual. 
um, but at the end uh, of the cl at the end phase, I have to get rid of it. So at this point, um, at range three, you get an extra defense die. I get five attack die, and let me see. When attacking, my captain's special ability when attacking, you may convert one battle station's result into a hit result, um, and that's pretty much my ship is any. Ship attacking you at range one rolls one less attack. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Okay, so I get to convert one battle stations into a hit result on this roll, which is good because I don't have anything. So I've got two hits there. I converted one. I got one hit and converted one battle stations into a hit. So I've got two hits, and you get to roll how many defense die? Two. One normally, but because you're at range three, you get to roll an extra one. So you've got two. You've got one blank and one battle stations. So that would be two hits on your vessel, so you would lose two, sh uh, t lose two shields. So they just get discarded. And they do have a red side, but that is only for when shields get disabled for some reason, like I just did with my cloak. Uh, so these get removed, and you have two shields left on your vessel. And with that, we'll go ahead and proceed to the end phase. Any red cloak tokens are removed. I'm no longer cloaked. My shields get flipped back over to the uh, blue side, and there's no other tokens to clean up, so that will conclude this particular round. Okay, um, moving on to the next round. Uh, we already did the planning phase off camera. Activation phase, I move mine first. Because, again, I have the uh, captain with the lowest skill. One straight ahead, that's a green maneuver. Nice and simple. And I will go ahead and do a target lock as my action. And your movement is, what did you reveal? Five straight, ouch. Okay, so you're all the way down here. Unfortunately, okay, so what are you gonna do with your action? I will use, this is, how do you flip these up? That should have been disabled um, last turn, but it would be re-enabled this turn. So you can use your photon torpedoes again. Um, if you had a target lock, but what, as far as your action goes, what do you want to do for your um, action? I want to see, no. I will really use my um, ship's ability. Um, you may fire at any direction. When, instead of making a normal attack with your primary weapon, you may fire in any direction at range one to two with three attack dice. Three attack dice, okay. So what range are you at? One, okay. So, before you roll three attack dice um, with your Enterprise's action, um, I'm going to uh, observe this. This is on my ship. Any ship attacking you at range one rolls one less attack dice. So you're going to roll two attack dice um, plus, against me. Plus one. What do you mean plus one? Range three. I'm at range one. Plus one attack dice. But that's not a primary weapon. It said instead of firing your primary weapon, you fire your 360-degree phaser, okay. so that would not apply. That would count as a secondary weapon. So you would get um, two attack dice as the result of that. Okay, so take two attack dice. Yeah, I'll do that. What was your action, though? This is, what, action? That's what I did. Is that an action? Does that say action on here? It just says ability. Instead of making a normal attack. Okay, no, this is an attack. You still get an action. So you get, still get to take some type of action. So anything on your ship card, for example? Um, the battle station. Battle stations? Okay. There we go. All right, now with the action done, we can go ahead and move on to combat. You get to shoot first. You're going to use William or, uh, the USS Enterprise's ability uh, to shoot in any direction, but it's not a primary weapon attack. So you get two attack dice. Normally you get three, but I countermanded one of them with my ship's own ability. So go ahead and roll two and see what you get. One critical hit, one blank. Um, I get to roll one defense die because I have one agility. Blank. Okay, so as a result, um, I take one damage. I lose one shield. The critical hit doesn't apply because I still have shields. So I'm down to two shields. All right, and that concludes that. Um, we'll, on the end phase, I can't fire back because my targeting cone here, my firing arc is only straight ahead, so I can't do anything about that. All right, so end phase, let's remove the unused battle stations token, and we'll go ahead and move back onto the planning phase off camera.
All right, now we're on to the activation or movement phase. Um, I get to move mine first. Two to the right, hard right. It's a white maneuver, so I still get to take an action. And uh, for my action, what do I want to do? Action, if your ship is not cloaked, you may repair one shield token. Uh, that is one action from my Kamal upgrade card. So I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll repair one shield because I'm not cloaked. So I'll go ahead and um, put one shield token back onto my ship. Um, and now you get to resolve your movement. That's three. Which way? That way. Which way? This way? Okay. What? See if we're in range. And what action do you want to take? We are range. Three. Three. And I am at my primary firing arc, or my secondary. I will do a. Let's see, I'll do a four attack. I can use. What, what action do you want to Target use? Target lock. Target lock. Okay. Got two there. Wait, we forgot to use this one. Remember? I didn't use it. It's still carrying with you, remember? I didn't use my targeting oh. lock yet. All right, so that concludes the activation phase, and now we'll move on to the combat phase. Okay, combat phase. Um, again, I'm kind of screwed here. He's outside my firing arc, so I can't do anything, but he's going to use his uh, photon torpedoes again, so you have to spend your target lock to do that. You get how many attack dice? Five. Five, okay. Go ahead and roll. So you've got three hits and two battle stations. So I get to roll one defense die. I don't think I have anything that... Yeah, I can't. All right, blank. So I take three hits. I have three shields. So I lose all three shields on that. And I can't retaliate. He is outside my firing cone. Arc. There we go. So that concludes that. Uh, the end phase, nothing to really clean up. So we'll go ahead and move back on to the planning phase uh, off camera. Okay, moving on to the activation phase. We did our planning phase off camera. I move first. Two, hard turn. It's a white maneuver. And for my action, I will go ahead and use, uh, if your ship is, well, actually, no. I will go ahead and play battle stations. Just be, uh, do I have battle stations online? No, I do not. Okay, so I can't use that. Um, what can I use? Evade, target lock, cloak. Hmm. Well, I can't use cloak because I don't have any active shields. So I guess I'll use Kamal's special ability again uh, to repair one shield. I moved you my... So you get to move bank. three hard bank. All right, I got it. And that is at range three. And what difference does it make? Unless you're planning a target lock. No, I'm going to see it. Darn it, I can't use any of my special abilities. Set him. Right. So what action do you want to take with yours? I'm not going to attack with anything. Well, yeah, you're outside the firing arcs. Plus his ability, the ship's ability. The ship's ability only works at range one or two. Yeah. So none of my ships can attack. All right. So what a bit, What action then do you want to take? I will do a. That forces me to roll one less defense die. This little scan action. This is your evasive maneuvers. What else can you do on there? Battle stations. How many, how many attacks do you have? Well, it depends on what I decide to attack you with. Guess you won't know until I do it. Evade. Evade or ev evasive maneuvers. Evas okay. Okay, so that concludes the um, activation. We'll move on to the combat phase next. Okay, combat phase. Um, his firing cones are front and back, so he cannot target me or attack me. So I will attack him with, um, even though I'm at range 3, I'm going to use my photon torpedoes, which is a secondary weapon, range 2 to 3. Um, spend your target lock, which I will. Um, and then disable this card to perform this attack. If fired from a Vorcha class ship, which I am, add plus one attack die. So I get six attack dice. I only have five here, so I'll have to roll one again. Um, what else do I get? Uh, when attacking, you may convert one 
battle station result into a hit result. So I'll keep that in mind. So let's, let's take them one at a time here. Um, I've got critical hit, regular hit, regular hit. I get to convert one battle station into a hit because of that ability, my new doc, Captain. And now I get to roll one extra because I don't have six attack die. So let me take the blank one, roll that. Battles, okay, so that doesn't matter. So you get one defense die. The range doesn't matter because it's a secondary weapon. What is that? Evade? Blast evade. All right, so you've got two evades and there's two hits. Uh, so four hits, two evades, or two evasive maneuvers. So um, the regular hits get canceled out first and then, so critical two. hit, regular hit. You've got two shields left, so you lose two shields, and now you're down to nothing as far as shields are concerned. And that concludes that. We'll go ahead and remove unused or used tokens. All right, and we'll head re-enable uh, any cards that might have been disabled, and we'll move on to the uh, planning phase. All right, we're moving on to the activation phase. Um, I get to move mine first. I'm going to do one straight. And for my action, I will take, oh, well, hmm. I guess I could do another target lock. Yeah, that works. Okay, I'll do another target lock. Okay, and for your movement, what are you going to do? Oops, stupid. What was it? Hmm. It was a three that way. And that's what I was doing. Okay. And what range are we in? This is range, I think this is range three. Yeah. So what nice. are you going to do for your action? We're not going to attack. No, but you still get an action. Hmm. Anyways, you may have an ability that can do that. Data. What is Data's ability? Two of these. All right, two evasive maneuvers. All right. So that concludes the um, activation phase. None of us can fire at each other right now. We're too far away. Uh, well, actually, he has that ability to fire 360 degrees, but it's, he has to be at range one, two, which we're not. And the firing cones, everyone's outside of that. So end phase, we'll clean this up here. Targeting lock stays, and we'll move back on to the planning phase again. Okay, um, we're moving on to the activation phase. I'll move mine first. Two hard right to white maneuver. Okay, and for my action, well, what do I want to do? If your ship is not cloaked, you know you create one shield token. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll go ahead and do, hmm, yeah, I will, how many attack do you have, four? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and, um, yeah, I'll do this again. Kamal's action, if your ship is not cloaked, you may repair one shield token. So I'll add a shield token to my Klingon ship. Um, so you get to resolve yours now. You've got the one turn this way. There it is. And you are in range of three. Yeah, range. I'm in range of three. This is range three. Firing cone is here. Firing cone does part or does hit, so I can't attack you. So we'll go ahead and let's go ahead. What? Can I do a target lock still? Oh, for your action, yes. Yeah. I'll do that. All right, target lock. There we go. And we'll go ahead and uh, move on to the combat phase. Okay, uh, combat phase. He cannot attack me. He is outside the firing arc, his cone there. Um, but I can attack with mine. So I'm going to go ahead and use my photon torpedoes again. Uh, range two to three, five attack dice. If fired from a Vorchik class ship, you get one extra. Let me do mine first. I have to spend my target lock. Okay, and let me roll these first. All right, now let me go ahead and resolve, uh, let's see, new dock. When attacking, you may convert one battle station into a hit. So I've got these. Now I get to roll my sixth attack die. 
hit. Okay, so I've got three hits, one critical. And you get roll one defense, you got a blank. So you one take face. three face down damage cards and one face up. One face up. Additionally receive one auxiliary power token. One auxiliary, immediately receive one auxiliary power token, then flip this card face down. Um, the auxiliary power tokens are the equivalent of stress tokens in X-Wing. Right, just immediately you, put it down. You can't do a red maneuver or take an action when you have one of those. So you've got four damage cards, five haul. So one more hit and you're out. Okay, so you can't do anything back and clean up phase. All right, everything stays as is. We'll go ahead and move on to the planning phase next. All right, moving on to the uh, activation phase. I'm going to move mine first. That's a two hard right. Um, there we go. And for my action, I will... Hmm, what do I want to do? Guess I'll take Kamal's action again, repair one shield. That brings me back up to three shields, which is my maximum. What's yours? Um, five straight. Okay, you're booking it. Yes. I'll get away from you. And your action, it's a, it's a white maneuver. Oh, actually, you're stressed, so you can't take one. Had this been a green maneuver, that would go away, but you're still... Well, that was a target lock. Yep, you still have a target lock from the previous turn. So you can't take an action, and that concludes the activation phase. Okay, uh, combat phase, range three. We already measured it. Um, so what are you going to do now? You're going to do what? Pro Photon. Pho Photon torpedoes, range two to three, five attack dice... All right, nothing I can really do to defend that. All right, go ahead and roll those five. Wow, one hit, one critical. I will roll my one defense die. Again, range doesn't matter. I get an evasive maneuvers. I cancel out the regular hit. I still take a critical. Luckily, I still have three shields. So I lose one shield. I'm down to two. I will go ahead and fire back. You had to spend your target lock to use that. Um, you can only attack a primary. I can only use my primary weapon, range three. You get one extra defense die because of you being at range three. I have five attack dice as regular. Um, I don't think it matters. When attacking, you may convert one battle station to a hit result, so I'll, I'll observe that when I'm rolling. All right. Wow. Wow. One critical, four blanks. All right, so I, I, I did... That. Terribly. Okay. So, yeah, you got an evade, so, or an evasive maneuver, so no damage was done. And uh, nothing to really clean up here, so we'll move on to the planning phase. All right. Um, activation. Two straight. It's a green maneuver. And for my action, I will spend, I will take a target lock. And you get to resolve yours now. What is that? One this way, it's a green maneuver, so this auxiliary power token goes away. You can now take an action because you are no longer quote unquote stressed. What range are we at? And because uh, my primary family. Base to base is three. No, how about mine? Auxiliary. The Did auxiliary firing arc is here, so you are not in firing range. Darn it. Data. Which, so two evasive maneuvers, or two, yeah, two evasive maneuvers for your action. All right, that concludes um, activation. We'll move on to the combat phase. Okay, combat phase. He cannot attack me because he's outside, or I'm outside his firing arc here, his auxiliary firing arc. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my target lock to play my uh, photon torpedoes. Um, again, I get um, an extra attack die for using it on a Vortia class ship. So I get to roll these five plus another one. Uh, Kamal's special ability, change one battle station into a hit result. And I get to roll my six. I'll take one of the blanks. Battle station. So I got two hits and a critical. You get one defense die. Wow. Okay, so you got two evasive and one evasive on your die. So three on three. You uh, don't take any damage, so we'll move on again to the planning phase. Okay, on to the um, activation phase. We've already planned our moves off camera. One slight right. It's a green maneuver. And for my action, I will take a target lock. 
And your uh, movement. Alright, so right here. And Again. for your action, you get to take an action. Two. Well, you, well, let's see. Range two. Range three. Nice try. No, from this side though. Closest base to closest base is... The closest base is that way. Well, it's... All right, I'll give it to you, just because. Um, Alright, so we're at range two. And you still get to take an action, though. What should I? I'll use his ability. Which one? It says place two takes and induce your attack total by two. What? Data. Evasive maneuvers? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Okay. But it has to and reduce your total attack dice by two. Okay. So you get to take two evasive, but you reduce your attack die by two. And his is three. So I only get one. You only roll one attack die whenever and you do you attack. Roll one attack die. All right. So we'll go ahead and move on to the combat phase. All right, combat, you get to shoot first because you have the higher captain skill. Range two, uh, you're going to use your uh, Enterprise ability um, to shoot in a 360 firing arc. It's a secondary weapon, but, um, but Data's um, reduces that by two because you have two evasive maneuver tokens. So go ahead and roll your one attack die. One hit. I get to roll one defense die. Evasive. So that cancels that out. I will spend my target lock now to fire photon torpedoes. I get six attack die. Where's the other two at? You mean the other two. Oh, there you go. All right. There's only one. All right, got it. All right, so let me fire these five first, and I'll re-roll the fifth one. Hit, hit. I get to change one battle station into a hit, and I'll roll my fifth or sixth attack die with the blank one. All right, so I got three hits there. Blank. So you get one face down damage card, um, and I get destroyed. All right. So yeah, your ship gets destroyed. Good game. Good game. And that concludes the game. Um, good job. Hi. Very very first. That was our very first game, and I think he did an excellent job. All right, and there you have it. Um, that was our very first game. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I'm sure we made some mistakes. Feel free to leave a comment if you saw something that we did that we weren't supposed to do. Um, Vinny did an excellent job, I think. Um, but being an X-Wing vet, I kind of expected nothing but the best from him. Uh, so with that said, you can check out my review once it's done at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com or you can simply click on the links in the below description that'll take you there as well. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs> I wonder how long it would take you to realize that I was doing that.